Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reconnect to VNC server after you've disconnected from it. This video was requested by some of our viewers who were having trouble reconnecting to their VNC sessions. So I hope this will be helpful to those of you who are experiencing the same issue. If you're not familiar with VNC, it's a remote desktop software that allows you to access and control a computer from another device such as your laptop or smartphone. It's a great tool for remote work, troubleshooting, or just accessing your home computer while you're away. But sometimes, for various reasons, you might find it difficult to reconnect to your VNC. That's where this tutorial comes in. I'll walk you through the steps to reconnect to your VNC server so you can get back to work or whatever you were doing. So without further ado, let's get started. So welcome back everyone. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if you remember to you know close your VNC connection after you know your first login. So to do that you're going to type the command VNC server dash Q ratio one and you know that is going to kill your VNC connection if you didn't kill it after logging in for the um, the first time. So that is how you do that. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is um let me clear the screen now clear okay now if you're sure that your vnc server was killed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to log in the same way you logged in before okay the same way we logged in the first time by using the command vnc server that's geometry then the geometry of your phone then that's listen tcp then of course localhost one so please be sure the same method you used to log in the very first time is the method you're going to use to log in again. There is nothing, you know, there's nothing different. Just make sure you type in the command. The, the command might be different from this, all right? It might be different from this. But make sure you use the same method you used in logging in the first time you, you know, the first time you connected to VNC server. That is the same method you should be using, okay? So as you can see, I'm connected to um, the localhost one now. So I'm just going to launch my Kali Linux because I'm using Kali Linux as an example in this video. So I'm going to launch Kali Linux now in a new terminal. Kali. Okay, Kali has been launched now. So you're going to connect to, you know, um, whichever desktop it is that you're using. In this video, I'm using XFCE as an example. So I'm just going to connect to XFC by using the display command. Display is equal to ratio 1. Then XFC section, okay? XFC for section. So I'm just going to click on enter and that should be it. I'm going to connect to my VNC. Enter. And that is it, you know. We are connected so i'm just going to launch my kex application now and show you that we are connected launch and i'm going to click on connect just the same way you did it the first time so this is how you log in again to your you know to your your linux terminal after logging in for the first time i'm going to show you the second method the second method is um okay this is the second method but first let me queue let me kill the VNC server. The second method is the shortcut method, which I mostly use in most of my videos. So, um, VNC server dash Q ratio one. All right, Q. Please, just like I used to tell you in all of my videos, always make sure you remember to kill your VNC server. Okay, always remember to kill it. So now to the second method, which is the shortcut method. Okay which is the connect VNC method. Remember, this method is not official. This is the method I mostly use in my own videos. So if you, if you, you know, if you watch my videos and, you know, you connect using my videos, you're going to know that this is the method I mostly use. Okay. And I'm going to show you what is inside. It is just basically the same commands. Okay. I just, you know, I, I shorten them into one simple command so that I won't have to be typing the long command every time. And as you can see inside, says vnc server that's geometry one six times 700 as listen tcp ratio one which is the same command okay i just did it you know in a shortcut um i just you know saved everything in a shortcut command so that i won't have to be typing this long command in it every time 
and of course you're going to connect to your Kali Linux using this shortcut method so I'm mostly using most of in most of my videos which is the start server method so let me show you what is inside the start server also forward slash bin forward slash start server start server okay and as you can see it is still the same display is equal to ratio one xfce4 section i just you know i just saved them inside a shortcut command so that i won't have to be repeating the commands all the time and you know start typing the commands all the time so i'm just going to play now and i'm going to launch my vnc with the shortcut command start server okay start server and i'm going to click on enter and just as usual you should, you're just going to you know connect to your 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 vnc viewer application so this is just how you do it there is nothing really you know um hard about it so i'm going to open the vnc application now and connect application then i'm going to click on connect and as you can see i am logged in again so this is it this is how you do it if this video helped you make sure you subscribe turn on your bell notifications like and comment on this video okay and um i'm going to up the vnc now and I'm, I'm going to see you in the next video so please just like i used to always tell you always remember to kill your vnc server always remember to kill the vnc server so clear and i'm going to kill the vnc server now with the vnc server command then dash q ratio one and this is basically just this is how you do it um thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye